hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the empire not to me starting a random vlog today is on 29th of january 2022 and i am here to start a vlog randomly because there's some things i wanted to share uh my niece is having a birthday today so i want to share with you guys how i prepare um, some snacks snacks like uh groundnuts and um popcorns i do not I do not use oil to fry the popcorns. Salad in my panda bay. So I want to share with you how I do that. Plus, I want to clear the mess behind me. And my house is a bit messy. So I need to do that also. If so, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, like, and share. Give it a thumbs up. Comment. Please just comment. Let me feel like somebody is watching and is you know just enjoying the kind of random content that I'm doing. So this is a random vlog. So yeah uh what else so let me start by showing you what i'm going to do first my hair this is how i keep my hair when i do not have a plan of doing it it's not even washed and i'm not even apologetic about it yeah so let me show you the groundnuts yeah i have is it peanuts or groundnuts what's the difference between peanuts and groundnuts i don't know jugo this ones all right and I have salt and I have a little bit of water. So I'm going to put this here. At the same time, I'm trying to sort if there are those that are not like of good quality. Things here and there. Is it granuts? How many peanuts? Like I think they're granuts, yeah. Yeah, from because they're dug from the ground. That's pretty much it. I think this is like half a kg. So to this, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Double two. And a lot of salt because jugu needs a lot of salt. Then now we're going to shake it. Just to mix everything up, the water and the and the groundnuts, okay. And then that is going to go under the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degrees. If after 10 minutes it's not as ready as you want them to be, you can always return them. So. I don't know if my timer will work today. No, it's not working. It was working the other day. I need to clean this oven so i put top and bottom grill 180 degrees so i'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes then i get it out okay 10 minutes later my my battery is my phone is out of charge so I can't use flash i need to recharge it The 
that is how it looks like 10 minutes later so let's see if they're ready if you want to know they're ready just do this if it peels off then they are ready but i think i'm going to put them back in for like focus focus i'm going to put them back in for like five more minutes and then they'll be done close to like five minutes later that is close to 15 minutes they are done See how they're peeling off easily that shows you they're done you can even test them they're perfectly done and they're tasty <laughs> that's how i roast my groundnuts no hassle just with the oven simple as that next popcorns for the popcorns you're going to need popcorns or popcorn any type of popcorn you wish and then this brown paper bag and a microwave put some popcorn in the this is a previous bag that i used and it has some popcorns it has some popcorns inside then this is a 2 kg bag i think two, 2 or 1 something like that but don't fill it up just put popcorns at this level because the rest of the space is for the popcorns to you know help and then clip here with a stapler if you have one or in the microwave when you're doing it okay so i'm going to pop this in the microwave that's how i'm going to place them in them that's how i'm going to place them in the microwave like that right and then no oil no salt no oil no salt no nothing then i'm going to go to my settings switch on my microwave and i'm just going to depending on how your microwave functions because you can see here it can cook pizza potato meat fish vegetable these are microwave and also it's like an oven so it has a grilling function you can also grill your um, uh peanuts here or granite so but i'm just going to use the microwave function and you want to set this to four minutes nothing more nothing less four minutes do not exceed do not four minutes exactly then you're going to start then now you hear them pop yeah so we are at one minute remember don't add oil don't add salt um just put the popcorns in the bag and then just let them pop um what else do not exceed four minutes because that envelope catches fire and it can really cause a lot of damage so four minutes if they're not all ready by four minutes you can always remove the ones that are ready then return those that are not ready so let's wait and see so after four minutes this one's going to pop on again so it's pretty hot so you need to be careful after four minutes that is what we're having that is the pops they look really nice and they're quite healthy for kids because now they don't have oil and everything so I'm going to pop some more. Sometimes when you finish popping, there are some that might have remained in the bag. So those ones, you return them for so again four minutes, or maybe three. Like in this case, we have a lot. Can you guys see? I think I put so much uh, of the popcorns because you need to put um, doggo at a time, all right? So let's go back and pop these ones. And they're hot and at this point because they're already hot you need to be careful that they don't they don't get burned so i'm going to put four minutes but i'm going to be cautious uh just in case they start burning then i'll be able to know you can hear that popping so 
so these ones i let them uh pop for three minutes and you can see we have an overflow can you guys see that because I, I ripped up the bag so it opened so they overflowed that's what i do so so i'm going to make it open And that's how I cook them. I'm going to show you once I've cooked all of them so you guys can see and they're tasty. Next, it's potato chips or wedges, or I don't know, but if instead of frying the chips, I choose to bake them. So, in here, uh, this is these are potatoes with food color, a little bit of salt, and a, and a little bit of oil. Yes, and then now I'm just going to toast them in the oven. Make sure when you're scooping them, they don't have water. Like, don't scoop them with the water. Make sure they're dry. You want to look for a spoon that has no stain. I don't know. It has holes inside. Is that why are you yawning like that? Why are you yawning? So after filling them, we're going to put them in the oven for like 40 minutes. 40 minutes and then toss them if you can or if they're not ready enough. We had some more time if they're ready enough, we eat them. So I'll show you once they're out of the oven. So I'll put two trays together, something that I've never done before. I'm not sure if they will be ready at the same rate. I doubt if this is going to be ready when this is ready. So, but I've put bot, uh, bottom, top and bottom heat and it's, it's an 180 degrees. I think I should add the heat to about max. And then I'm going to roast that for 40 minutes, grill it for 40 minutes and see. Just a, by the way, I ran out of diapers, so I wanted to share with you guys how much and where we buy diapers in bulk. Because normally what we do is that we buy them, we buy a bill of diapers once. Because if you buy them per bill, it's usually very cheap. So as I was saying, if you buy them in bill, it's usually cheaper. So I use size number 5, uh, 56 species. Um, yeah, 56 pieces. That's what I buy. So, for three of these, I don't know where I'll be stable. For three of these, we buy them at 29.50. So, that means one goes for around 980 shillings. Compared to if you buy them from the supermarket, one would cost around 1150. I really don't know because I've never bought diapers from the supermarket, but I think that's the range around 1150. Or 1100 there yeah. so I think that will be or even more I don't know comment down below let me know how much it costs um yeah so that is 980 each so we buy them from easily the wholesale shops that's where we buy them because they sell them to you as if you're going to resell so yeah that's how much we buy them and then we, we also buy milk from there so here this is the big size milk and this is the small size so this one goes for 780 so that means one packet will be 43 shillings the big one so you get uh 18 pieces for 780 shillings is that it let me check the receipt um yeah 780 for the milk this the bigger one so one is 43 shillings then for the small one you get 21 pieces for 390 that means you'll buy one at 18 shillings so you get to save a few coins all right 
uh, here you save seven shillings because milk is 50 shillings and here you save around two shillings so that's a steal so yeah you guys one day when i do my entire shopping because i do like all my my house shopping from isli it's a bit cheaper compared to buying it from the supermarket so i hope you've learned something new so 40 50 minutes later the top potatoes are ready these are the ones that i put on the top they're ready they're eatable focus and they're so hot right these are good if i let them cook past that they're going to be so hard but this is good i wish i can break it yeah there it is focus focus yeah that's how they look right Mm, and they're really done inside so i had to remove those ones then the other one that was on the lower deck is still not super ready so i'm going to transfer these to the top then put these ones at the bottom so that they can maintain their heat so that when they're about to be eaten they're still hot so these ones i'm going to have to put 40 minutes for them to be to roast they're hot but they're not as ready as i would love them to be and these ones will remain on the bottom so that you can just maintain the heat and then yeah basically just maintain the heat nothing else so yeah so all the snacks are ready uh granuts popcorns focus popcorns and our roast potatoes, all of them are ready. So time to dig in. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for this vlog. <laughs> Mimi, let me just remain disheveled for the day because I don't feel like doing anything. I just feel like being like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that vlog. It was a random vlog. So now I'm just going to switch up and just go and enjoy the snacks with the babies. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I can't find my head scarf. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you've learned some few tricks here and there to save you some oil and some coins. Yeah, so yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.